Welcome to the new episode Probably Nothing, the IOTA news of the last days, I'm Alexander and it's been damn quiet. Let's start with Deeper Finance. They tweeted on the 25th of October that they stand for long term value and will not sell a presale ICO or NFTs to bring in money. This puts in a so called fair launch, where everyone has the same conditions. But when it launches, everyone will be able to buy tokens, get it as an airdrop and get it as a reward for activity. We will also all be able to try deeper as a trial before the launch. EU blockchain forum has created a document with the analysis of 4000 blockchain businesses. IOTA was also mentioned as a notable blockchain company. IOTA Origin is now in the touchpoint program. We remember IOTA Origin is the project with tokenized commodities. Congratulations, we all hope DeFi will become more diverse through it now. The third round of IOTA staking is over. 1 billion assembly was distributed in this time. 61% of IOTA tokens were staked for it. The fourth round is already coming and don't forget, there will be a Firefly update before the new round. Landex will start its public sale on the 3rd of November. For this they have published a Medium post. If you want to participate, you have to fill out a KYC. The sale will last 5 days. 70% of the LEX max supply is for the Landex fundraising phases. So far, 8% of the tokens are in the hands of the community. 5% airdrop plus 3% seed sale. And no token has been sold to a venture capital. Anyone needing info on the sale should check out the Medium post. Is it a bird? Or it's the plane again? No, it's the resolution of the sweepstakes from the last episode. The winner were chosen with pickawinner.co. One code goes to the German community and one prize to the English edition. LH Mac, Muck, and that's very congratulations. You got the code. Get in touch via mail or Twitter. Thanks again to the morons who made the contest possible. The other projects can also jump something. What do you say? Also, Sooniverse gives the platform for all who make a KYC free. Currently, there are 7 tokens to choose from. Sooniverse has started some pools the last day and now they present the results of it. 6 questions were asked, for example, rebranding the number of validators for a project to be truly decentralized, extensible smart contracts or using third-party cloud providers. If you want to read the answers and also the thoughts of the team behind it, you should check out this article. Walt ID published a tutorial on how to log in with IOTA. I would like to show you the final result. The video has also received far too little attention. Perfect. And now we can press the sign in button, sign in with Keycloak. We will be redirected to Keycloak. Then we can press NFT. That will be then forwarded to the IDP kit. It will redirect us to a connect wallet page where we can now share our address, which will be validated by the IDP kit and checked against the that we are an holder of an NFT of the collection we specified earlier. Then we get redirected to Keycloak, which now wants some more information. We can just pass in and submit that. Perfect. And now we are logged in. Then Sadao.iota posted an interesting picture on Twitter showing activity on Shimmer. The picture shows the whole month of October and almost a doubling of active Shimmer addresses. I hope he posts this more often now. If you want to play with the Shimmer test on the Minted Vodka, you can do that now. On Minted.Vodka slash Shimmer, you can now register as usual on Metamask, get some test tokens and play until you don't want to anymore. Too confusing for my liking, but maybe you just have to spend more time with it. There is another big vote in the Shimmer network. The vote comes directly from Dom Shina. There are 205 votes with 82% voting. Yes. In short, the successful Shimmer ecosystem fund from August should be used to accelerate investments. There are two proposals. I quote. In election of free community members to join the Tangle Ecosystem Association's Shimmer Growth Committee, and be given the authority to distribute the ecosystem fund quickly, effectively, their mandate will be for one year and renewed annually. Utilize the established legal structure of the Tangle Ecosystem Association as the responsible entry for allocating 50% of the Shimmer tokens from the community fund. Through TEA's legal structure, the Shimmer Growth Committee will fund the ecosystem alongside the Community Treasury Committee, which is currently being established by the community. 
community. This will not be palatable to many and raises questions for some as to why the DAO that is being built is taking way too long. It is good and it will come, but there may be situations where the money is needed now and for the development of the DAO is in the way. If potential investors take years to see something finished just because we can't get off the ground. That's why we had a governance call on Tuesday the 1st of November with Dom explaining the whole thing and answering questions. You can watch the whole thing on YouTube. What is your opinion? Who followed the call of Amnesia Cash on Discord could test the platform. For those who missed it, you can see on a screenshot how the platform will look like. TanglePay and Audit One are partnering up. They are now looking to review new tokens together before they are added to TanglePay. Android users can also install an update 1461, which solves problem with Shimmer, and iOS gets an update 147, which comes with improvement in security. Han Smoke speaks up after a long time. Open issues were resolved at a strategy summit, but he is not allowed to give details. The rewrite of the concerns is finished and the integration can start. Go Shimmer and Honet merge into a larger team, working together to make the core site mainnet ready. Great news. Also a new Bankless Consulting number 7 has been released and deals with risk management. We now know that Stronghold has been released in version 1.0 since the last episode. Now follows also the blog post of IOTA. If you like to read and understand the technology with code examples, you should read this article. Last but not least, Blockbytes will start a Twitter space tomorrow with Dom, Chris and Shimmercy. They will talking about Shimmer. Blockbytes has over 130,000 followers on Twitter. That's it for the short episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to vote on Dom's proposal or at least read it through. See you next time. Bye bye.